today I'm gonna show you how you can make an awesome logo wipe transition that looks like this really quick and really easy. Okay, we're in DaVinci Resolve here. I'm in the Edit tab, and we want to create a logo wipe transition between this clip and this clip right here when I go from Talking Head into the tutorial. So it's a whole lot easier than you think. All you have to do is come on up to your effects library. We want to go to our video transitions, scroll down until you see logo wipe transition. We're going to click on that, drag and drop it between our two clips. I'm going to close my effects library. So now we need to find a logo that we want to use. I use the DaVinci Resolve logo, and you need to bring it into your project, or you can have it in a power bin. I have mine in a power bin. I'll show you how that works. So if I come to my media pool, I'm going to open up my power bins right here. I'm going to click my little drop down. I have brand assets, logos, and icons. Now, once you know where your logo is, the next thing you want to do is click on your transition and go ahead and open up the inspector. In the inspector here, we want to turn off the text wipe because I don't want to use text, so I'm going to uncheck that box. I'm going to come to custom logo, and it says drag your logo here. So go find your logo that you've got in your media pool or in a power bin and drag it and drop it right into this line right here. So I have my DaVinci Resolve logo right here. I'm going to drag it over and drop it on that clip name area. And when I do that, now I see the DaVinci Resolve logo here, and if I play through it, this is what it looks like. Let's check it out. So, so you can have it wipe across the screen however you'd like. You can change the size, the angle of it, as well as the edges and resize mode if you'd like to. You can adjust the animation if you'd like. You can also adjust the glow of it if you'd like. You can add in some motion blur here. I like to set mine up around seven or so. Works out pretty good. And then you can make the logo transition as long as you want really quick and really easy. Now I do recommend you add in a little sound effects because if you watch mine here, I did put in a little sound effect. Check it out. Let's check it out. So first, let me sh So the sound effect that I use is a whoosh that I actually created myself. I dropped it into its own audio track, and then I added a few effects onto it to have it echo and sound a little different than just my normal voice. So I do have a whole ton of sound effects that I created myself. You can create your own or grab them from wherever you'd like. Drop a sound effect in there. really helps sell the transition. It just makes it sound a little bit cooler. So that's it, adding a cool logo wipe transition there on your videos real quick and easy, thanks to the logo wipe transition that's built into DaVinci Resolve. Really quick and easy, guys. Thanks so much for checking out the video. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. Peace.